All right. So I woke up this morning thinking I was doing a Tridley's interview today. No Jumper Coolest Podcast in the World. And I'm just sitting here in my chair, and he's not here. And I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do, how I'm supposed to handle this, what I'm supposed to What's going on, dog? How you doing? How you feeling? Oh, sorry, I was being illegal in there. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, the Heelys. Yeah, I was ex- I was exposing myself out there. Who did you expose yourself to? The security guard? Just in the bathroom, I was exposing myself. Who else was in the bathroom? Just me, I guess. You're just whipping it out. Is that not is that not illegal? Well, I feel like the mirror doesn't really count. <sighs> Dang it. What have you been doing all day? I'm uh, just hanging out outside trying to be late. <laughs> that's what cool guys do. <laughs> what, 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 uh, I mean, I, I'm trying to figure out what version of you I'm getting right now. Well, since the show, I was uh-huh. a freaking idiot, nerd guy with this button up shirt. Since Stupid for boat. the love of Lena, which yeah, some of them the... might not have seen, but if you'd like to oh. see it, it's on the No Jumper channel. Yeah, you got to watch it. Uh, I was a, a loser on that show. I had this button-up shirt, this bow tie. Ew. And now I'm trying to be like you. I got the tattoo. Which actually seems like it kind of came off in that melee you were just involved in. Uh, yeah, me and the security guard are best friends. Yeah, he looks like and he then, um, whoop the shit you there for a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what cool guys do. The big guy, don't. too. Yeah. So big. I think we should do season two of Love love the love of lena so you're saying that these are all changes that you've made in your life in order to sort of like compensate for the ways in which you feel like you failed last time yeah i think people thought i was weird i brought tap dancing shoes that's no that's nothing that's nowhere near heelys i thought that was kind of sick the tap dancing shoes why the fuck was everyone making fun of me well it's a bunch of hoodlums really right that's true male porn stars a couple gangbangers i mean that is true. They don't know a lot about tap dancing on average, I would say. That is true. The Crip dance versus tap dance, I think that was rigged. I think I won. Yeah, it's... Oh, you, you do win. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to compete with, like, a, a dance that sort of represents the streets. Yeah. Versus a dance that really... I don't know what tap dancing is supposed to really represent. It's, it's just like playing the drums with your feet. Yeah. It's like an opera. It's like jazz. Well, yeah, I feel like it's kind of more like playing the drums. With yeah, your feet. yeah. <laughs> like you got all these different parts of your shoe, and you can just kind of mm-hmm. like when I watch it. But they be doing a lot of like fancy this footwork. Is, too. This is like the hi hat. This is like the bass drum. This is like the tom tom. Right there, you go, yeah. Crash cymbal. Ride cymbal. <laughs> you get your d- in it. Her uh, Healy's slash tap dancing shoes. Make it. Do they ever actually make soap shoes slash Heelys? Yeah. I they actually did. had some and they got stolen. Who took them? I don't know. Legitimately, I had some. I got it from eBay. Really? Yeah. I hear they're like kind of hard to get nowadays, the soap shoes. Yeah, they're like 80 bucks and I don't know where they went. Did you have them earlier in your life? No. I did. Really? When I was 13, I had soap shoes. Whoa. Did you know how to use them? Not really. It was yeah. actually kind of like an early introduction to what a b- I was because I had some friends who would like just hop on a hop on a ten stair. Like it was nothing. Yeah. It was like dudes who didn't even skate or anything, and they just would hop on a ten stair rail and just grind down that sh- with soaps. With soap shoes, like it was nothing. And I no, I was I was fucking around on the curbs. Even that, I had a real hard time with. I remember falling up a curb is hard. It's hard I'm to find a waxed ledge that even really works with the soap shoes. They're just not as slick as you'd like them to be yeah we should bring soap back because it's been like 20 years usually it cycles through through like trends and stuff you know well that was a time period though where everybody was trying to find the new the next alternative action Escape. sport yeah it was like that the first x games how the what like bungee jumping and like yeah. a bunch of stupid shit. 
you can never imagine. Now, is bungee jumping an extreme sport? Well, at the time, the definition of extreme sport was very broad. Yeah, that's true. Because there's no one winning in bungee jumping. It's, I, I don't think it was actually bungee jumping, but it was like something equally weird. I think there was a street mm -hmm. luge. Street luge. I don't even know what that is, as I say it, but yeah. it sounds like something that I heard was in the first X Games. It's like laying on a longboard and just going really fast down the whole thing. Yeah. Ooh. You know what I always thought was really interesting? Is what? that Red Bull sponsors action sports of almost every kind. Yeah. Monster too, whatever. But like they won't touch the Razor scooters. Yeah, what's up with that? I have one in my car actually. Really? I have a Razor and Sriracha collab scooter. Sriracha, really? Yeah. It's in the back of my, my car. I'm almost even surprised that Sriracha would do that. Yeah. It makes no sense. But scootering is like super popular. Yeah. But mostly with like seven year olds. I can go grab it, the scooter. Maybe I mean, near the end. Yeah, maybe at the end. It's so cool. Do you have any trace you use tail whip? I could like half tail whip. You could like yeah. do halfway around. I feel like that's way different than doing a regular, a full tail whip. Yeah, that's kind of just falling. Yeah, I mean, I don't, uh, I, I couldn't, I, I, I used to try it when I worked at, you ever, I worked at Brookstone. Yeah. You ever been to Brookstone? Is that where you sit in the massage chairs? Yep. That's where you go in like middle school and you don't buy anything? Yeah. yeah. There are all kinds of vibrating. Yeah. It's like an undercover sex shop. Yeah. Yeah. Malls that would never have a sex shop will gladly have an entire, it's like a covert sex shop. Yep. It is. I never thought of that till now. Hmm. Book sex. Bookstore. Brook, bookstore? It's called Brookstore? Brookstone. Brookstone. Brook sex, though. I like the Brookstone. Brookstone. Like water and stone for boner. <laughs> so. If I That's had to guess, sexy, yeah, sexual. how they came up with the name, I would picture someone just observing a babbling brook. Yeah, and that's kind of hot. If I had to guess, I bet Brookstone's been around for like 200 years. And it yeah. used to be like the most obscure store ever. And then this slowly came into the modern era and started selling you Tempur-Pedic pillows. Yep, to lie your head on when you're doing anal. Or vaginal. Oh, yeah, yeah or vaginal. But I wonder if prehistoric sexual toys, bleep that out, the sex word. Yeah. And uh, I wonder if they were just very, very smooth rocks, like very long, smooth rocks that they would just polish. Mm. And then they use those as sex toys to put up your butt. Because you got to think that at least one of the things that people prize about a sex toy in this day and age is it's got to be a little... A little bit of squish to it. Yeah. So that when you're putting it in yourself, it's not just like raw, just rock. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe they took like sheep organ, put it around the rock. Don't they, didn't they use sheep skin as condoms? And they could put like an organ, like one of those little toys that like, you know, you hold it and it slips out. Uh-huh. <laughs> Even wood. I feel like wood. it would be a lot more comfortable than like rock. Yeah. Maybe just really fine down wood but i imagine that a vaginal splinter is probably a whole thing yeah that's a whole charade right hmm. we should get some grandmas on here and see what they used you know i remember raising my hand in like third or fourth grade and asking the teacher or the like i think they had a special teacher come in for like sex ed mm -hmm. it's like a sex expert like why do we need that in like fourth grade i don't know yeah that's that's a little weird isn't that weird like none of us were having sex yeah i would hope it was awkward do you remember or that though? Like maybe they liked it. Like fourth grade. Yeah, it, yeah. Like I don't think my mind is is betraying me. I think I really was that young. And then yeah. Have somebody come in and teach about sex. And I remember I raised my hand and I said, "What did they do in the thirteen colonies for safe sex? They're telling yeah. us about condoms." Yeah, yeah. And they're like, "They had condoms." And I'm like, uh, "Okay." <laughs> like I don't I don't believe you. But yeah. Even as a kid, I'm like, no. Modern. Did they have rubber back then? They I mean, maybe use like cloth for condoms, and it was just really dry. Yeah, I mean, a, a condom is like a magic moment in industrial production of rubber goods, right? It's yeah. Like so skinny that you can just make it like perfectly fit to your dick, and and 
one size is supposed to fit like most dicks. They have like bigger and smaller ones, but for the most part, yeah. I wonder. And I, I, f- I feel bad mentioning this because I know you've. I've only put them on. I've never used them. So that's real. You haven't had sex. Some could say. How did you feel when you got eliminated I from made, uh, the show? Um, it felt fine. I felt like I needed to redefine myself mm. and find myself. And I was eliminated first. I didn't watch the second episode yet. Mm, who got yeah. el- who, who got eliminated second? Or was anyone even eliminated besides me? For all I know, I could have been the only one eliminated forever. Honestly, like it's kind of hard for me to remember at this point what the order was. Yeah. And I don't necessarily want to spoil it for people that oh, haven't watched yeah, it yet. Oh, yeah, don't maybe. spoil it. But, yeah, but I mean. You don't, if you didn't watch it, you don't even know if I got eliminated. If you didn't watch it, you could stop the table right now and go watch that shit. Yep. 